One, two, three, four. You have no idea how big the impact is on the on a life of a diabetes patient. It's always there, 24-7, seven days a week. You cannot take a break from it. You cannot get a holiday from it. When you get the diagnosis, you realize what it means. At grammar school, they called him uh, a gentle giant because he's pretty big for his age. I like playing video games, I play the piano, and I love learning about geography, flags, and exploring the world. He's uh, really smart as well. Yeah, special teenager. Yeah, yeah, he really is. It first started with me feeling a bit uneasy, a bit abnormal. As a, an employee of Medtronic, mainly working for diabetes, some of these symptoms I really related to the illness immediately. We called the doctor, her own doctor. The diagnosis was so fast. He looked at Mick and he said, I'm sorry, but... It was one minute. You have type 1 diabetes. In the hospital, everything changed in my life. It's like you're on this roller coaster and all you think about is your child and it's like you're numb. As of that point, you know, the train starts rolling. When they first come with the first needle, that's really physical. So he started to feel like, oh my God, this is going to be my life now. I never knew if I could hang out with friends, if I could go to school normally, if I could eat normally. At that point, you as a parent also are afraid and sad and scared. You kind of have to, you know, accept the fact that he's not going to get better. Mick has diabetes but we're going to handle this as a family. Mick needed to inject himself before he could get released from the hospital. And it took him, I think, two days before he realized, OK, I really have to do this myself yeah. because I don't want to stay in the hospital. I want to go home. Managing my diabetes by myself is pretty hard. At school, he always felt like, oh, I'm the sick child. I have to go out of the classroom to inject myself. Not only injecting the insulin, it's also calculating how much insulin you need to inject. He lost the confidence in his own body. He couldn't trust his body anymore. The first thing that came to my mind is we need all these stuff that we make at Medtronic. In May, we were actually all set up. We asked Mick how you feel about the pump and everything, and I remember him saying, literally, the pump is my best friend. I just felt very free. Like I could do way more, I could go out more. So he doesn't feel like uh, the sick child anymore. He's just like a normal kid. Music has always been my way to deal with difficult situations and it's very special to do that with your, with your own son. Yes, of course, I'm still kind of sad and angry about it because I still have to live with it for the rest of my life. Now it's kind of just part of my life and I've accepted it. We just want him to be happy. We always tell him, okay, yes, you do have diabetes type 1, but that doesn't define you as a person. Your life can change within seconds or hours. Uh, it made us closer to each other and just enjoy like little things like having a coffee together or going on a hike together. When it comes to the future, we have high hopes, absolutely. <laughs>